Uh, no one wants to lose a game of football, simple as that. So we were frustrated on Tuesday evening and uh, we were back in on Wednesday. Um, discussed it all, analysed the game, which we did, we went through the footage and moved on from there. So it's just it's football, we have to learn from it. What would you have changed? We made, we made three errors, basically. First goal, we stopped the cross. Second goal, a shape wasn't right from the corner. A couple didn't do the jobs. And third goal, doesn't happen. You know, but the players in, involved in that have been outstanding for us this season. Minimal goals scored against us. So we only learn from mistakes. We have to learn mistakes or take, suffer mistakes to move forward. Is it, so, a, case, sorry, is it a case though that a better standard of team will punish those mistakes? Maybe, maybe. But I think we've been, you know, you look at the second goal and say we got something wrong in terms of organisation. But it was a wonder strike. Nine times out of ten, it goes into OX, but it went certainly corner the goal. So it was a great strike, great second goal, but nine times out of ten. So the random nature of the events didn't go our way, but we have to learn from it. There were a number of other chances that St Johnston obviously had. Um, it was a great game to watch. It certainly flowed, but I mean, they could have scored a few more goals. Do you I'll feel with that? I'm not sure about that. Okay, I keep reading this five or six at half time. I'm, I'm, watching, uh, a different, I'm watching a different game to that. Well, no, I'm not suggesting maybe as many as that, but they, they had they had chances throughout the game, uh, maybe as a possibly a better quality team that you faced. Do you feel that you your team, when you come up against a better team, you will maybe have to curb your attacking instinct somewhat? I'd, I'd look at this. They should have scored a third goal before half time. Absolutely missed from five yards out. Andy Halle thought he was fouled, but it wasn't given, and they should have scored undoubtedly. But I think at the end of the game they had six shots. I believe we had 64 percent possession. So we have to be more clinical. That's been a, not saying a flaw, that's been a, a common theme. Um, we score the goal, Nathan hits the bar, flashes one wide, we miss a header. That's the random nature of football and the margins get finer as, as you go higher up. So uh, maybe we have to be look at our position, our pitch geography, which we, we always work on. But I still think another day we, we'd be happy with the performance. So it's, we have to learn from it. Two or three individual mistakes and we paid the price. But we could have paid the price maybe earlier in the season or later in the season. It's the way the game goes. You have conceded many goals this season, but um, there's been more than one goal that's been conceded right through the heart of your defence. Yeah. Is that an area that you feel you have to, to work on? We put our centre halves and defenders under, under a lot of pressure with the way we play. So we do commit our full backs forward. We look for balance from the full backs and the holding midfielder, but we do put them under pressure and they're challenged. You know, we need players who can stand up to that challenge. So we had similar feedback last year. In the old place about you know two v two sometimes we'll deal with it and they're good enough to deal with it. I've got no doubts about the qualities of Rob and Danny. They've been excellent so far for the season and will be excellent all season ahead. So I've got no doubts about that at all. But it's just about them being challenged as players and, and learning from every game. It does put a lot of emphasis though on those three positions, the centre half and the defensive midfielder. Are, are you absolutely confident that the, the guys who are in that position and have you playing that position are up to that? Standard to Absolutely. Standard. Your first your first comment was we've conceded very few goals this season. That answers your question really in a way. They have done their job, you know, on various surfaces against various opposition. Um so delighted with them there. And don't forget that we said to them after the game on Tuesday, we've been together less than three months. Twenty seventh of June we came back and in that period of time they've gelled quickly, taken on board new ideas, had a good run of results. And um as I say, we're in a good shape. Do you feel like you learn more from a defeat than the wins that you've had? Always. Always, and you only learn from mistakes. I mean, I'm amazed when people say oh, we can't have mistakes. You only learn from mistakes. So we can have these games and 11 wins out of 11. That's great. But sometimes on Tuesday we look at it and we we'll learn. Three mistakes were made. We were punished. You know. But the, the, the clinical side, from our perspective, we work on every day, and they're getting better and better. And training today was excellent. So we're happy with that. But we learned from the fact that shape wasn't right and a mistake was made. So. We were punished. So you come up against uh, opposition from a, a higher league in the, in the Scottish Cup. Will you be sticking with the expansion, expansive style of play? That's how we play football. That's so how we play football. The result against St Johnson won't change your way of thinking. What, what do we do? Do we change the whole way we play because of one result? That I'm amazed at some of the comments I read about. Will you change this? And we've won 11 out of 11. We've played well. We've missed numerous chances on top of the goals that we've scored. That's not arrogant, that's not disrespectful. We played some good stuff early in the season. Why would you possibly change everything? Right now, on Tuesday, we made some individual errors and got punished and missed some chances. As simple as that. I've got no doubt about the quality of the team. Isn't it only natural, though, Mark, that people make that judgment based on, on, on the level of opposition? Just because it is the first time you've played that team from the Premier League Absolutely. and then that's where the win stops? Absolutely. I understand that. And I say, from, if we had doubts from within our camp, then I'm, I've got no problems letting you know that. 
from our perspective, we were frustrated at losing a game of football, angry, spoiled your day off, that's for sure. But the anger now is channeled towards a good performance at the weekend. Do you not think then that there was the reality check that people spoke about? I don't personally, no. But I, again, football's a game of opinions. And that's why that's why everyone loves a game of football. It's about individual opinions and insights, inspires decisions and conversations, discussions, etc. From my point of view, we learn a lot from every game that we play. You know, if you remember, we, you sat here and said, Hello will be a different surface for you. Hibs will be a tough place to go to. Queen of South with this. St Mirren will come down for the Premier League. These are discussions we've had over pre previous weeks. So on Tuesday, as I say, we made two or three mistakes and got punished. Simple as that. But again, look at the positives. We had a lot of the ball, created chances and need to be more clinical. The header changes it. So if, if I could look at it and say from a Rangers perspective, had we not conceded that goal just after half time, I would have fancied us. That's my honest thing. If we got the goal, I fancied the crowd to be behind it and momentum. And we got the three one, missed the header, and who knows, that's the beauty of the game. But I don't think there's a, I don't think there's major surgery required in our squad. There was a lot of talk before the game and after the game about gaps between the top league and the second league. Where would you expect to be challenging if and when Rangers got the next season? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a hypothetical question. From our point of view, we've got to build, we look at the squad, what we do in the summer, how we add, what we lose. Yeah, that's, that's, that's too broad a question to answer right now. That's not evading it, but how, what do I say? I go into a league and say I expect to win, I'll go as high as we can and say I want to come sixth. It doesn't work that way. We'd look to go as hard as we possibly can do in whatever league we play. How far would a, a convincing performance and win this weekend go to kind of restoring any, you, know, you say there aren't any question marks over it within the camp, but would it put those questions to bed? Either? I've got to be honest, the third question back at you, how would it go to restoring the fact that they've won 11 out of 11 and they're top of the league by how many points? That's not an arrogant comment, that's just a fact. They're top of the league by a margin of, and you're saying how far would it go to restore some confidence possibly is the word you're looking for. I'm not being rude in any way, I'm just saying that they're top of the league. They're top of the league, won every game in the league, home and away. I don't think confidence and self-belief is an issue for us. Do you feel you're not getting the credit for that? No, not at all. I understand. The media side of it, you know, I understand you guys do your job and I fully appreciate what you have to do. But the fact is we are top of the league and in good shape. So to suggest that, you know, would a win on Sunday away at Morton restore some confidence? I don't think there's a lack of confidence or a lack of belief. There's an anger and a frustration at lost a game of football that we feel we're more than good enough to have won. All credit to St Johnson. They set the game plan, they got the result, all credit to them. But from our point of view, there's no lack of self-belief at all. Okay. Off on a, bit, on, a, on a bit of a tangent, understand your job is purely on the, on the football side of things. Um, there's been a few front page headlines this week. Is that something you're having to get used to as, as manager? That's, that's not my job. I, I deal with the far simpler matters here of looking after the football department. So the, that's my job, that's my focus. Any, sorry, Carl, sir, any uh, injuries, Mark? For... No, with you, obviously Cammy's undergoing his treatment still. Uh, likewise, John. Um, no change to long-term injuries, other than that everyone's fit and well. Nicky Cart's back in full training, so we welcome Nicky back this week. Is he back in the squad for...? He might well be.